Welcome to the Tesla Fremont factory. Today we are going to be checking out the all new refreshed Model Y. This will be the first time I've gotten to see it up close and the first time I'm getting to drive it. Stay tuned and let's check it out together. Don't forget if you find yourself in the market for a new Tesla, you can check out my referral link in the description and that will give you discounts for a Tesla of your own. You can go to any kind of showroom and they will have lots of demo drives available. You can see all the different vehicles here in Fremont. Everything you could possibly want to drive is here. So if you want to do a drive of your own, schedule it, check it out. And when you go to purchase, use my referral link for discounts. We're here kind of in an empty stretch. I want to punch it a little bit and let's see how it goes. One, two, and three. Oh my God, this thing's got punch to it. So as we do a walk around of the updated Model Y refresh, you can see that lighting signature on the front. Looks really amazing. It's got that kind of robo taxi cyber truck look to it. You've got the light bar there across the front fascia, but where the headlights are is actually down here. You can see right below it. And then as we go to the front, there's also for the first time a front facing camera on the Model Y, similar to what they did for the cyber truck. One other change you'll notice there is no Tesla logo on the hood. That's the first time that we have seen that before. As we come across the side profile of it, it really doesn't look all that different from the Model Y that you're used to. So in this aspect, it's gonna look very traditional and very much what you've seen before. But as we switch around here to the back of the vehicle, this is where you're gonna notice a pretty big difference. So to wrap up this road test, the last thing I wanna do, and you almost have to do, right, is try out FSD. So we're gonna press here on navigation. We're gonna return back to the Fremont factory. It's gonna show us the route, and then we're just gonna press this button here to enable FSD and we are on our way. Now this is just a short trip, so it's not really a difficult test for FSD, but let's check it out together and let's see how it does. It's turning on the blinker to turn left, slowing down here at the end of the driveway for the business park. I kind of love that it didn't come to a complete stop because most humans would not come to a complete stop either. Now it's got the right turn signal on and we're coming up on the intersection for Fremont Boulevard. Probably turned the blinker on a little bit sooner than I would have, but now we're gonna turn here into the intersection. Nothing on the left, nothing on the right. It's pretty clear. It's not a very challenging test for it, certainly on a Saturday, but nonetheless, it is still cool to see it driving on its own as it's basically taking itself home to the factory. Got a motorcycle coming up here on the left. Again, I love that it shows that visualization on the screen. That is super cool that Tesla does that. There's another car coming, you can see here on the left, oncoming traffic. And again, it picks it up so well, and it picks it up from a good distance. I mean, a good 100 yards away, no problem. It's picking up those on the cameras. I'd love to see one of these lights turn red, but I don't know that it's going to. It's just uh, too slow a day here on a Saturday morning. But we're coming up here to this intersection with street lights. And I think what it's gonna do here is it's gonna show us even the green lights and it sure does. Right there, you can see the green lights on the screen. We're gonna continue on towards the factory. The acceleration isn't uh, anything crazy, like it's not uh, jolting or anything. Sometimes with my lightning when I'm on um, the, the cruise control, the, when I'm, I'm using the adaptive cruise control, I should say, Sometimes it will break and accelerate a bit abruptly. It's not a very smooth and natural feel. Uh, it's kind of overreacting to the vehicles in front of it. Um, again, love that sensor. I just can't get over how cool that is. Um, and so there's none of that with this. FSD is, uh, to my mind, driving completely natural, completely smooth. Um, again, I know this isn't a huge challenge for it. Oh, we got a cool FedEx electric vehicle van right here. I'll show you guys that. Shout out FedEx. Um, here we have a red light, so finally, uh, hopefully it stays red and it will slow down. It is starting to slow down for the car in front of us either way. And again, a very smooth deceleration. You see the cameras come on here and it switched lanes on its own. Man, that is fantastic job by FSD. That's exactly the type of thing I might have done. Now I'm curious here because this lane in front of us ends. Um, so I'm curious what it does here because now I've got a car to my left and then in front of us, we've got a lane that's gonna end. Light turns green. It's gonna accelerate. Man, great job by FSD. I mean, absolutely perfect. It's got the left turn signal on to merge back into traffic. 
and here's another red light where it's coming to a complete stop. Now again, we've got another situation where it's gonna to need to go left because this lane ends and it actually goes to a freeway on-ramp. Now in this case, it does different than it did the first time. It's uh, letting the car get in front of us and now it's gonna get behind it. So the first time it accelerated in front of the vehicle and this time it saw that that vehicle next to us was accelerating, so it went behind it. Very smart decision. Again, you can see the cameras here popping on. And that's something that's cool here too that they've added on the steering wheel. Uh, for those that don't know, it has a turn signal stock, which did not used to be the case in the old Model Y. And with that, they've added a camera button here. So when we park, I'll show you that camera button. The cameras show up all the, all the way around the car and you can just press that quick access camera button. Uh, but I love that these cameras are here for the turn signals. That's another thing that I wish the Lightning had uh, was that ability to show the cameras. And I know that, uh, shout out Martin Meek, he uh, showed that there's a way in tow mode where you can get those cameras to show up. So I know it's possible. Uh, they just need the software update to do it. So here we've got a speed bump. It's slowing down again, very naturally for the speed bump. Love that. Here's another one right here. Great job, just accelerating uh, or decelerating into the speed bump. Um, can't say enough about FSD. I gotta tell you, this thing feels ready for prime time. Again, I know this is a very easy task for it. We're not going far and uh, there's not traffic or complexities or roundabouts. Uh, I wish I had more time with it and I could take it into more of a challenging excursion. Um, but nonetheless, at a very basic level, it's very reassuring, it's very confident in the way that it's driving. So uh, we're pulling up here into the factory again. They got a little bit of construction. You can see all of those vehicles here on the side uh, of the display. And we are gonna pull in, park it, and that will be a wrap. So thank you guys for coming along. Uh, if you like this type of EV content, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and join me for my other adventures. And uh, we appreciate you guys coming along. Leave a comment, drop a like. It really helps the engagement. That's one of the biggest things for a channel is that it needs engagement for it to circulate. So if you've enjoyed this, uh, drop a comment. Just say enjoyed it. Uh, here you can see it came to a complete stop. It's now turning back into the demo drive area. It spaced itself out very well. Uh, here we are back at the Fremont factory. You can see my lightning parked right here. Shout out Ford Lightning. And uh, that's it, guys. We're going to get out of the truck. Out of the truck, that's funny. I'm used to being in a truck. We're going to get out of the car and wrap this up. Let's actually see if it parks. This will be interesting as it comes up. Let's see what it identifies as a parking space or if it tries to charge it. It's uh, here you go. It is, it is pulling itself in backing up. Man, it's gonna back itself right up into a charge spot. I was not anticipating that. You absolutely have to love that. Oh, that is just remarkable. I know I'm easily impressed guys because this is something that uh, I have not experienced before. So shout out Tesla engineers. We are now ready to supercharge. Awesome job. Oh, here's that camera button, by the way. Press that button, cameras come up. And then right back again. Spectacular, love it. Hope you enjoyed it as well, guys. So guys, as we wrap up here at the Tesla factory, I'll leave you with my final thoughts. I was really impressed. Uh, I cannot tell you uh, just how well that FSD drove. Again, with the caveat being that it wasn't a very challenging day for driving, uh, but I can absolutely see a day where my kids may never drive. Uh, I can absolutely see a day where as my mom gets older and isn't able to drive, that we get her a Tesla and it takes her wherever she needs to go. Uh, that type of independence is really fantastic. Uh, I, As I get older, I'm sure, we'll end up in a car that drives itself. Now, I love driving. I love the experience of it but it was really reassuring to feel the FSD. It's only gonna get better, so uh, I think that's just fantastic that Tesla is doing this. The other automakers have a long way to go with it. I know in China they've done a great job, so there's gonna be a lot of this in our future, uh, but if you have a chance to test drive one of these, I think you're gonna be impressed. It was uh, quiet and refined and smooth compared to the old Model Y. It is still uh, not nearly as soft a ride or quiet a ride as my Lightning. I still put that right at the top above Lucid, any Tesla, certainly above Rivian. There's a number of reasons for that, but it's a absolutely uh, 
fantastic driving experience in the Lightning, and that's still my favorite EV to drive. But there is no denying that this refresh Model Y is something special, and you got to experience it. If you're in the market for a Model Y, it's a real challenge. Do you go for the deal and the bargain of the outgoing Model Y or for just the improved NVH, um, the handling, the softness of the ride, uh, and again, that FSD, you really got to subscribe to that, I think. Buying it outright doesn't make a lot of sense, especially uh, if you're going to transfer vehicles at some point. I would definitely say subscribe to FSD when you need it. Uh, but it, again, I think it's going to be a commoditized feature, uh, something like cruise control. It'll eventually be uh, reducing in price, if not free, uh, as the years ahead come. And so that's one of those things that I'm looking forward to seeing how, as it commoditizes, uh, that price comes down as the technology gets um more common and improves. So that's it from the Tesla factory. Thank you guys for coming along for the adventure. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. If you don't, don't like and subscribe, just comment down below and uh, that helps the algorithm as well. But uh, we will see you on the next one.